Hello everyone. So this video is regarding how to prefer instrument approach chart and uh, this plate is for Kathmandu for Nepal. We have to start briefing based on from the starting from the top must part of it. Okay, from this part. Most likely we will be starting from the date of issue. Say for example here for the second plate I have the date. So you have to always start with the date which is July 1, 2022, the recent most one. So this is the recent version, which is the July 1, 2022. So that's how we start with the plate from the validity date. So July 1, 2022, Kathmandu, required navigation performance it stands for runway 20 arrival. Okay. And it's a instrument approach chart and the aerodrome elevation of 4395 with a threshold elevation of 4395 at a pressure of 150 hectopascal. So this is the information section and this is how you have to present your information section of your plate. Next goes to your frequency. Frequency approach 120.6, decimal six, tower 118.1, decimal one, ground 121.9, decimal nine. okay and this is how you have to present your frequency section okay next is authorization required so in order for you to get into the aerodrome for landing you have to get an authorization prior into that part okay so, so authorization is done next is your plan view so all these things we are talking is about information frequency and now we call it as a plan view just like a road map or a google map that you do or even most more particularly your cross country phase of flight you make a plan in your map right just like the same this is the plan view of the approach and our, or the arrival which we need to fly in which consists of an msa which is minimum safe altitude which you need to fly based on the direction that you are flying into the aerodrome second one is the type of approaches or the type of arrival procedures which you need to fly and some other information along with it we will look it out once we get through it okay so we start with minimum safe altitude this minimum safe altitude refers as if you are coming anywhere from the north of the aerodrome you should be flying at an adding of 28400 feet when you are at 50 nautical mile point from Okay, from 50 nautical mile point on up to 25 nautical mile point. When you are coming from the north of the aerodrome, you should be at an altitude of 28,400 feet. Okay, north or somewhere from northeast of an aerodrome or northwest of an aerodrome. Yeah, east of an aerodrome. So whichever the direction is you are coming from. So northeast, northwest and east of an aerodrome. If you are coming from the, that side, you have to report at 28,400 feet and you have to fly that altitude up to you reach 25 nautical mile point, which is your second circle, which is your second limitation. And if you are coming anywhere in between like this, which is uh, roughly around east and uh, this is south, so southeast, so if you are coming from southeast, you should be reporting at 12,800 feet. And you should be within this heading. If you are flying in between 282 and 312 heading, you have to fly and report at an altitude of 12,800 feet. And you have to fly until reaching 25 nautical mile point. If you are flying anywhere from south or southwest sector, sometimes in west, if you are flying anywhere from south of the aerodrome or western part of an aerodrome and uh, you are trying to get into the airport, you have to report if it is in between 312 and 026 degree you have to fly 11,800 feet up to you reach your this circle which is i will tell you what circle and uh, your second point anywhere between southwest if you are coming from southwestern part of an aerodrome you should be at 10,700 feet and the western part of the aerodrome sometimes 10,700 feet until you reach your center circle okay this circle is supposed to be they will be giving it at the bottom saying that the center circle which is number one is supposed to be 
10 nautical mile point okay it is a 10 nautical mile point from that part you have to fly at an altitude of 11100 feet they have given here okay once you reach that point which is 10 nautical mile point you should be at flying at an 11100 feet altitude from there onwards you can get start your procedures okay that's the, how this minimum safe altitude points reverse and it will give you a roughly idea about what height you should maintain at what distance from an aerodrome okay to be safe from colliding with the elevation that is around it okay that's the most information that you can get out from of msa and uh, let's start with the arrival procedures that we have so we have dafe darke igris and uh, ratan so we have four different types of arrival procedures for runway 20 in a required navigation performance approach okay so how this is made if you are in dafe okay if you are in dafe which is here okay which is here you have to be reporting at an altitude of sorry you should not be less than 10500 feet okay if you are coming and reporting at dafe which is an iaf iaf means initial approach fixed okay if you are reporting at an dafe which is an uh, initial approach fixed you have to be in an altitude of 10500 feet which you can see it it is uh, mentioned here this uh, safe altitude will be mentioned all the safe altitude heights will be mentioned this is the 10 nautical mile circle which is the number one in the approach chart okay this circle is this done that of 10 nautical mile point which says you have to fly at 11,100 feet and then we're from the south so that's all we got so if you are reporting at Daffy, you should be at 10,500 feet and then on you have your waypoints 10,500 feet you have your waypoints each and every waypoint will give you how much distance you have to travel to the next waypoint and uh, what height you should be at that particular waypoint okay say for example we will do just this approach for Daffy okay for dafe i'm coming and uh, reporting my flight is coming like this i'm reporting out dafe at 10500 feet okay then from i have to report at waypoint kt540 which is two, two nautical mile from the dafe at a heading of 140 degree okay at a heading of 140 degrees then i have to report at kt538 which is an arc approach of 8.5 degrees okay that's the mean that's the nautical mile 8.5 degrees a nautical mile and still you are maintaining 10,500 feet not below 10,500 feet you are supposed to be at 10,000 or above when you are at when you are flying this approach from then once you reach kt538 you fly at a heading of 082 degree for a distance of 7.5 nautical mile and again you report at kt536 at an altitude of 10,500 feet again you will still fly at a 082 heading for a distance of 5 nautical mile and you report at kt542 again an arc distance of 6.8 arc and you report slowly for uh, and you are traveled around 7.8 nautical mile and you report at ktm sorry kt444 then your waypoint heading is 016 for a distance of 2.8 nautical mile you will be reporting here at kt442 not below 8800 feet you should be at 8800 feet or you should be above it okay that's it next you follow the same approach arc slowly because uh, you can see this approach arc you can see this uh, dot represent the elevation of the particular place which is 5906 feet you are just 3000 separate feet separated from that particular zone okay once that done you report here you make a 6.5 nautical mile distance at an arc of 7 degree you will be reporting here at above next
where can I get it? Yes, you will be reporting here above. Then you fly at a heading of 074 for a distance of 3.9 nautical mile. And you report he here at KT424. This is an important point. I will get you what is this. Okay, what is this IF? Okay, IF is a instrument fixed. So we call it as a KT424. This is an important point. I will get you back why this is most important one. Okay, KT424. Then you get distance of 1.8 nautical mile and report at KT422. Again, uh, uh, heading of 047. So whenever you look at a black line, you will be having a heading at top and the distance you need to fly to get the next waypoint will be mentioned below it. Okay, here you can see 047 is the next heading and uh, 3.7 nautical mile is the distance for the next waypoint. Next you report here which is uh, given 421 and you see and you can see here in each and every point there is a box given a white box. This determines what is the maximum speed you can be at that particular waypoint. So here at 424 you should be at maximum of 220 knots you can be minimum you can be below it but you should be not be above 220 knots next at 421 you should not be at not be at 165 knots then uh, this pink colors what is this pink colors and it is referred as a FAP it is uh, called as a final approach fixed okay then onwards you make an arc approach with a distance of 6.2 nautical mile and you report at KT418 and from 48 it is given here okay since here since there is so crowded this part is given here so from KT418 you fly at a heading of 240 for a distance of 1 nautical mile again you report here at KT416 then again you go for an arc approach with a distance of 1.4 nautical mile and you report at KT414 then you can fly at a heading of 202 degree for a 0.7.9 nautical mile which gets you at a aerodrome for runway for your approach okay this is how an approach for a DAFE is done so you just have to follow this entire black line and whatever the heading and the distance uh, says along with the speed restriction and height restriction you fly in get into that part okay this is DAFE approach just like that you have to go with each and every way approach point so let me go and see what's happening and i said this is the important waypoint right so let me give you what is this important waypoint before getting enter into it so this kt424 so i will make a uh, different colors so you will understand why this is important so we draw dafe for red again we draw blue for uh, darky so darky is here so i came here at darky following the black line and reporting again i am going with yellow so which is igris igris start from here okay so i fly igris black line and i am getting to that point okay again what's the last one the last one is ratan for this i will go with pink so this is the ratan approach which comes and join here so you can see all the approaches that you fly for the 4 one we you can see the common waypoint is K2, KT424 because this is the point where the profile view of the approach will be given. See KT424. KT424. KT424 is that a profile view of your approach starts. Okay. It will give you the vertical movement of proper vertical separation. How much you should maintain for each and every waypoint okay let's continue with Rafe approach from kt444 
I said you have to fly from KT444, then approach entirely, then maintain this arc and this extra bit is given here. So that's how the approach is given. So let's see how this approach is fly. So KT424, you should be reporting at it is given as not less than C. If you see a line 7900 feet, this bottom line, this means you should not be above this point. This is the minimum line that you can be at that point. If you see a line above it, it is the maximum that you can be at that particular point. You can see the lines below. So this, that will be the minimum height you should be at that waypoint, which is 7,900 feet. So you are at 7,900 feet. You are supposed to be go with KT422. You will be using a horizontal point with this and you will be fly with a vertical point with this particular zone. So you will be slowly descending to an altitude of 7300 feet and uh, you will be flying the entire 7300 feet up to you reach where? Up to you reach until you reach FAP. Okay, so FAP is final approach fixed, which is this pink color. Okay, which is this pink color part FAP. Okay, KT419. So when you are up reporting at KT419, you should not be above or below 7400 feet. You should be bang on that 7400 7, feet approach. Okay, when you are starting your descent approach, okay, so you are reporting at final approach fixed at 7,400 feet. Then you start your descent profile at a range of 3.0 degree to 5.24%. You should not be below this or above this descent rate profile. Okay, they have given you a heading that you need to fly, which is in this degrees true. Okay, you have to slowly descend up to you reach this point which is your decision altitude okay this runway is a part of this one this one this is the where you came and make the approach okay you came and you are the, at this particular height at this height you have to initiate the go around if you can't able to see the runway okay RDS, which is a reference decision altitude which is a five zero feet Okay, so you have to initiate a mixed approach from that particular zone and you have to fly away at 10 heading of 202 degree. So this is your profile view of your approach that you need to do from KT424 which is a common point. Okay, next what is the missed approach procedure? So missed approach procedure will be given here. How missed approach procedure is done? Missed approach procedure is done. You see a chart APP6 chart. I will tell you what is APP6 chart. So APP6 chart is for that you have to climb at 10,500 feet and missed approach climb gradient is given C for percentage of 2.5 percent. Okay, 2.5 percent of climb rate you have to use and fly up to 10,500 feet and use a RNP procedure and track to DAFE so whenever you are you do a missed approach this is a runway you do a missed approach and you come and report at DAFE okay we will look at this chart so we will see how this done okay so you came and reported DAFE and hold and start a new approach by DAFE so you will be again following a DAFE approach to get into this so that's why I explained the first approach instead of any other one because the rest of them is very easy but DAFE is a quite big approach so you will be slowly stabilizing your aircraft to make a landing when you are coming from the DAFE that's why I went for the DAFE approach to explain so this is the mice approach climb gradient is given and what is your visibility range that you should be at when coming for a RNP approach for landing based on the aircraft decision altitude for each and every aircraft is given okay aircraft category A, B, C and D you should be reporting at a decision altitude of that's the point where you initiate a go around or you should be confirming with a visual with a runway to make a landing okay and the runway visibility range so what is the aircraft you are flying is your runway visibility range should be 3.5 km Okay, that's how you you present your chart or your your you should brief your chart.